Up next, Slotherhouse on Hulu. So I guess we've run out of scary ideas. I we guess must have. We reached peak performance at Sharknado or something. Um, or Cocaine Bear. In fact, did you notice that the logo for it, if you go on Hulu, not kidding, by the way, mm-hmm. a Halloween horror movie about sloths. <laughs> it's, it is just what it sounds like. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, uh, well, but you, you've seen, first of all, sloths do have the claws for it, though. Yeah, but they don't have anything else. <laughs> they don't have, yeah, the cognitive capacity. Mm-mm. Or the speed. The drive, even. They're so sweet and tame. You've seen the guy carrying the sloth across the road, right? Because mm-hmm. I guess there's a place in, I don't know, South America where that happens all the time. Right. <laughs> you know, we have deer icons on the <laughs> signs on the side of the road. They have sloth icons, I guess. Funny. Maybe the writer of this show was driving through <laughs> Central America or wherever this was. Maybe. And uh, was like, ooh, you know, it'd be a good idea. Maybe he accidentally hit a sloth and then he felt really guilty over it. And so to sort of uh, assuage his guilt, he decided to write this story yeah. as a way for the sloth to get revenge on him. Slother House 5. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's, that's, I'm sure that's coming. No, what I really think Give it happened, three more movies. <laughs> yeah, no, what, I, well. That'll be the Wouldn't you need four se- more movies? Well, Slotherhouse Slother House is the first one. Yeah, three so you more. Need four more to get to... Sl- and then the oh. fifth one will be Slother House 5. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, well, but I... Yeah, we didn't yeah. determine where I started counting from. That's so, fair. yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, but what I was going to say is how I think this really happened was there were two guys sitting around maybe enjoying a substance that's a, that's legal in their state, but not in, in ours. They were muckbonging. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And um, they one turned to the other and he's like, you know what, man? I bet like I could make a scary movie out of like the least scary animal ever. Like it was a bet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and they do have those kind of scary dark rings under their eyes, right? I or mean, am I thinking of lemurs? No, well, it's not really. So they've got like panda eyes, kind of. Yeah. And then they've got like a That's lighter. Scary. They've got a lighter ring around their mouth, kind of. Oh, speaking of movies on Hulu, mm-hmm. right before we started this show, you're not going to believe this. What? There's a Christmas movie called a Hallmark Christmas movie. It's the first one of the 2023 season. Ooh. And it's called Checking It Twice. Okay. And guess where? The successful business lady ends up going to find the true love of her life, I'm assuming. Um, is it Idaho? What? <laughs> Idaho Falls, Idaho. Really? She goes to Idaho Falls specifically? Yes. I just watched a really quick scene where, uh-huh. you know, her girlfriends, are, there's some exchange happening. Spoiler alert. <gasps> <laughs> some quick exchange happening at an airport with this successful, obviously, main character because uh-huh. she's blonde. Yeah, And right. her two friends are brunette. Mm-hmm. And the two friends are from Idaho Falls, Idaho. And she says, oh, yeah, what's happening there? And they said something like, they, first of all, they had to pause and think. And then they said, oh, yeah, we got a new water treatment facility. <laughs> wow. That's funny. Really, Hollywood? That's funny. <laughs> really. You come up here, you buy all our land, you go skiing at our world-class resorts, mm-hmm. you go uh, dropping your fly fisher right in the Henry's Fork, mm-hmm. and that's the best you can do. You enjoy our local shops and boutiques. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. I kind of wonder if they shot on location at all, and how did we not hear about this? They did not. Okay, that, that would make and sense. And that's why. Yeah. yeah. They uh, shot in Canada, apparently. The Canadians are always getting the best stuff. This is a bunch of crap. What a bunch of crap. <laughs> anyway, the, the the Hallmark Christmas movie season, we've talked about cuffing season. Now, uh-huh. I know it's way too soon for you. You're way too soon for you to be thinking Christmas, but I'm <sighs> I'm in it. I, here's the thing. It's I've already not, jingled and jangled. It's not because I do work retail. So yes. I've already had people coming in looking for cr- stuff for Christmas and, and all that. And first off, I do have to say I really do admire how proactive they are. And also, I hate them. I hate them so much. Get out of my store. Get away from me. Although, actually, maybe, if anything, I should love them even more because hopefully they're saving me from even more of a rush later. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Actually, I've completely changed my view. I love them. I love them. They're the best. God bless the I wish the that everyone planners. would do that. Yeah. Yeah. And you get better deals, too. So 
Well, you get the best selection, that's for sure. Right. Well, and not <laughs> As only somebody that... who has shopped on Christmas Eve before. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Well, and not only that too, but like there's usually like way more stuff in clearance and like we have sales going on year round and stuff, you know? So back to checking it twice. Even though they didn't shoot here and they're not from here. But because Idaho Falls is the central focus of this show, we're assuming. Mm -hmm. And they're proving that we are a destination city, not just a hub. Which is something we've been talking about lately. Right. I think that they should be our IFAF of the week. You get a crisp high five, Mm -hmm. double finger guns. Quadruple. Can't wait to not watch it. (laughs) You know, I've actually never seen a Hallmark movie. Neither have I. At least not that I know of. Like, I've never intentionally watched one. Why would you want to? (laughs) I mean, I've heard that they're a romp. Okay, on the condition that we do with it, what we did with the sequel to Phantom of the Opera, Love Never Dies. <gasps> yes. And just and just MST3K all the way through it. Mm-hmm. Make fun of everything that happens. Yes, I love that. And okay. let's get a Brolam charcuterie board to do it. Oh, yeah. Let's right? make it an event. Now yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> right? Right? Wouldn't that be fun? But yeah, we'll get some friends together. We'll... You know, yeah, yeah, the more the merrier. <laughs> yeah, I think that sounds like a blast. Maybe we could all wear Santa hats. I love that. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I have a, or, or did I get rid of it? I might have gotten rid of it. Dang it, that was dumb. I had an ugly Chris, uh, Christmas sweater that <laughs> had, um, oh, Joe exotic on it oh, and it oh, said, <laughs> Merry Christmas to everyone except for that bitch Carol Baskin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's, I know. that's something I had completely forgotten about. Even though, really, that Tiger is King. that is the show that got us all through 20, 2020. It, it was. That it, and Frozen 2? Or fro- was it Frozen 1? It was one? Frozen 2. Frozen 2, yeah. Because yeah. that's right when Disney mm-hmm. Plus started. And you know, we should do the same thing with Slother House. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think that's also going to be equally hard to get through. <laughs> 